hand it reaches from the highest mountain, and it flows from the lowest valley. That blood then gives me strength from day to day. It'll never lose its power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want to talk to you today about there is power in the blood. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Isaiah 53 and 5 says, By his stripes we are healed. But there's another blood I want to talk to you before we get into the blood of Jesus. I feel led to say this. If you don't warn somebody of their coming judgment, if you don't warn somebody of their living in sin and you know it, the Bible said that the blood, if they die, will be applied to your hands. You've got to spread the word of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That just came out of my spirit. I'm going to say it like that. Isaiah 53 and 5 says, By his stripes we are healed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We hear all the time, I plead the blood. But so many know so little about the blood that they're pleading. The Bible says we was bought with a price, a great price. It was the price of his own blood. The blood of Jesus that washes clean all sin and iniquity. All sin and iniquity. If you come to Jesus, he'll wash clean. He'll forgive you. He'll wash you. He'll change you and fill you with the Holy Ghost. Whatever you need is found in the blood of Jesus. And it's found there today. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. No, so They know so little about the blood. But the Bible says we was bought with a price. That is the price of Jesus Christ's blood. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Was we was bought with a price. That's the price of the blood. We was his. We was his. We was bought that day. We became his. Blood bought. Spirit filled. Purchased with the price of his own life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's how much God loves you. He will love you so much. He shed all of his blood for you. Because, see, I thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Father. Because, see, you don't understand something, do you? Some of you might not. Some of you might. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God didn't just shed one drop of blood for you. He gave it all for you. So if God gave it all for you, are you willing to give it for God? Are you willing to surrender everything you got and follow the Holy Ghost? Are you willing to follow Jesus, be filled with the glory, repent of your sins, live holy for Jesus? Are you willing to do what he commands? That's the question I want to know today. Hallelujah. You can answer by Facebook or you can answer that question in your own heart. I want you to answer it in your heart, though. If God's dealing with you, are you ready and are you willing to answer to God for your life? Are you willing to put your life under his blood? Are you willing to be filled with the Holy Ghost? Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Are you willing to walk in the glory and not in the world? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Because we are of a world far beyond this one. We are of a world beyond this world. Of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are no longer strangers but we are passing through because we're of another government. We are strangers of the world, but not strangers of God because we're of the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. So I want to get into this right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. They, the blood, the Bible says, hallelujah, purchased us out. Thank you, Lord. We even sing about the blood. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. With that blood, he bought us. But also, he paid for our healing. He paid for our deliverance. He paid for everything we'll ever need in our life. Spirit, soul, and body was paid for at the cross of Calvary the day Jesus died. But the, really, let me tell you, the victory didn't happen at the cross. It happened at the garden when the human side of Jesus actually came in agreement with the God side of him. And he said, Father, not my will, but yours be done. God in flesh agreed with himself that the will needed to be that he would die for us and live again. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So our love for him it is nothing compared to his love for us. It's just minute compared to the love of God that was in us that day through Christ Jesus. That he loved us so much that before he knew, before we knew him, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's a past tense. We're yet sinners. We are no longer sinners, but we are bought with a price. 
meaning we are no longer sinners, but we are saved by the grace of God. We are no longer sinners saved by grace, but we are sinners. That no longer we are saved by the grace of God. But we have been forgiven of our sins. We've been delivered from the power of sin and death. It is no longer there. It's null and void. The law of sin and death is going away. But there's still the law of God that we must obey, my friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'll get into that in a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The blood and everything in it was bought for us. We need everything is in the blood. Leviticus 17 and 11, God became, God said, everything you need is found in the blood. I'm putting it as a sacrifice on the altar. Leviticus 17 and 11. I thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. I do love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It says it was put as Every need was put at the altar with the blood. So if you come to Jesus with a need, cast all your cares upon him, for he, has a, he cares for you. We have not a high priest that cannot be touched by our infirmity, but we have one who is touched by our infirmity. When you hurt, he hurts. When he laughs, you laugh. When he cries, you cry. He loves you, my friend. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. My Rabbi Koshanda. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm trying to get this message going. Thank, thank you, Holy Ghost. You are welcome in this place, oh Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We take, when we take communion, thank you, Holy Ghost. When we take communion, we are symbolically taking of that blood that brings us deliverance. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Matthew 26, 26 through 28. I bind every time of the devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you could if you could look through the entire Bible, you'd see one thing. If you look through the eyes of God, you'd see the blood. That book, this book right here, my friends, is the bloodiest book you'll ever read. Because from Genesis to Revelation, the blood is covered and it's found, my friend. The first thing God ever did when he had to create man, the first thing to save man he ever had to do, his own creation, shed the blood of an animal and put their skin a covering for their sins on top of them. The blood had to be shed that the sins might be forgiven. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Are you with me now? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hmm. I had to get a drink. Thank God I got a podium now to drink with. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. When we take a communion, we are literally taken of his blood Matthew and his body. Matthew 26, 26 through 28. If you could look through the eyes of the Bible, you would see blood if you look through God's eyes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Though our sins was a scarlet, God promised through Isaiah, though your sins be as scarlet, I will make them white as snow. Amen? And he did that. He promised it to Isaiah. He fulfilled it in Revelation 7, 14. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And because of what he did, we shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of our testimony, thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Revelation 12 and 11, thank you, Holy Ghost. So many today trample the blood that bought them out of bondage. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And he warns us to do, and he warns us not to do that. Hebrews 10 and 29, thank you, Holy Ghost. It says in there the reason they trod the blood of Jesus is because they think grace will cover it. Grace will not continue to cover sins that are habitual, that you continue to continue to do, because you say grace will cover it. Should we continue in sin, uh, uh, Romans chapter 6, that grace may abound? God forbid it. If you don't believe it, my friend, Romans 3, 1, if you don't believe, that's up to you and God. But it does not make the word of God of none effect. It still stands. When you stand before God, it will still be standing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. 
Thank you for the blood of Jesus. And like I said, if you go ahead and let somebody sin and you see them in sin, oh, they're going to say, don't judge me. Really? God was through out of several sins, even through all the cliff almost. He said, oh, they're going to judge me. They're going to think I don't love them. Let me tell you, it's called tough love, baby. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. My family put it on my backside enough. If you don't, if you don't love somebody, you don't correct them. But by God, if you love somebody, you better say something. If you know they're living for the devil, you need to tell them to repent. Because if you don't and they die, the Bible said their blood will be on your hands. I got that again from earlier. The Lord's dealing with somebody on this video. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We need to tell people they're in sin. It's not judging them to tell them they are in sin when you're living right for God and you're delivered. I rebuke every devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody needs deliverance right now. I bind you, devil, in Jesus' name. I can have healing and deliverance by the blood of Jesus. I send the blood your way, friend. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We would see the blood. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, when we look at this in the Scripture, hallelujah, but we are more than overcomers. Revelation 12, 11. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But I want to tell you, in Ephesians, 1, 3 through 7, God gives us authority and sonship through his blood. We are adopted. We are one of his own. We, When we stand before Jesus, we look just like him. We look like Jesus to the Father. That scares the devil because if somebody ever really realizes who they are in Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost, I'm telling you, hallelujah, if the devil ever sees that we are living for Jesus like we know who we are in him, that scares the devil himself to the bit that he can't even sleep one bit because he knows, oh, my God, they just figured it out. We're in trouble. Hell has to have another meeting. The demons have to get yelled at because somebody ain't doing their job because the glory creeped in and showed you who you was. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God is showing somebody today who you are through the blood. You're more than a conqueror. You're an overcomer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Though our sins were scarlet, God made them white as snow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God said it through Isaiah, but the promise was fulfilled in Revelation 7.14. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So many today trample the blood because they think they can get away with it. Hebrews 12 uh, Hebrews 10, 29, thank you, Holy Ghost. And it says in there the reason they want to try the blood is because they believe grace will cover it. Read your Bible, friend. Hallelujah. It's Hebrews 10, 29. You think grace is going to continue to cover your perfect sin? You think, oh, God, forgive me. Oh, God, forgive me. I'm going to keep doing it, but God, forgive me. God, forgive me. Einstein said insanity is doing the same thing over and expecting different results. Help me, Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to hear that. You need to quit being insane and get your mind right with Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. The blood that brought them out of bondage. You know, there's a poem, but everybody says, oh, I've heard it said in the Bible. It ain't in the Bible. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I rebuke the devil in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Do you understand what it said? The, the poem, it was a poem written by a scholar, one of them famous scholars, and it says that uh, fools rush in where angels fear to trod. If there's any place that an angel would fear to trod that loves the Lord, it would be through the blood of Jesus. Friend, you can't go through the blood, and the devil can't cross the blood. Let me tell you something. Somebody needs to hear this. You can't outrun the Spirit of God, and you can't outrun the blood of Jesus. Somebody needs to repent of their sins and come to Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The greatest healing, the greatest miracle is salvation of one soul. And you need it, brother. You need it, sister. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We all need it. Thank you, Jesus. So many today trample the blood that bought them out of their bondage. And he warns us not to do that. It says in there the reason why. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So, I'm sorry, I keep going back through my notes. Something in the Lord is just stirring in my spirit. You've got to understand me. Quit trampling the blood. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord. To quit crucifying Christ afresh. In Jesus, afresh. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why in Exodus 12, 7, and 13, the blood is so precious. 
It's not to be trampled. It said that you're to put it on the headboard and on the sideboard. You're not to put it under the foot because it's not to be trampled. The blood is too precious. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. The blood is so precious it's not to be trampled. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But think of this. The blood, think of this. The blood gives us access to the threshing floor. Lord just told me to drop that in the message. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody's going to come to the blood today, and you're going to get on the threshing floor, and God's going to hear you. He's going to clean you out. He's going to clean you up. And he's going to He's going to pull you up from off the bloody knees that you've been carrying on. You've been laying on bloody knees. You've been beating up bloody. God's going to take his own blood and cleanse it all. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus, and you shall be saved. That's what the Bible says, and that's what I believe, and that's what I'm preaching tonight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The devil's not going to win. You know the enemy sent everything he could to me tonight to try to come against this message, but the Lord God is greater than the works of the devil. My God has victory in the blood. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. And I want to, because the blood was never meant to be trampled. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm going to go on and preach the last part of it. The Lord's leading me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hebrews 12, 24, his blood will cry guilty or innocent. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What does that mean? If you're, it says it will cry greater things than that of Abel. What did Abel cry? It was the generations that was murdered and cut down in the prime of their life before they was ever going to be born. He was, they were crying for justice. God's blood through Jesus Christ will cry either guilty or innocent. But if you're not under the blood, my friend, the Bible says your sins will be exposed on that day. What am I saying? Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you're not found in the blood, my friend, let me tell you by the Holy Ghost, God will cry out your sins under his blood because you're just as guilty as the hands that shed his blood 2,000 years ago. You've got the blood of Jesus against you instead of for you until you come to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. His blood will cry, guilty or innocent, on that day. His blood, bless the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, I rebuke every attack of the devil. Thank you, Lord. I curse the enemy right now in Jesus' name, and I rebuke you, devil. I command you to turn the people loose and let them go free. I pray the prayer of faith that they would be responsive to this word. They'd come to Jesus Christ and be forgiven of their sins. They'd be delivered. Every time I preach the word, I start sweating because the fire of God is burning on the inside of me. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And that fire is telling me it's burning inside of me. I've got to tell you what God's saying. You don't want to go to hell, and God don't want you to either. He wants you to be saved. Hell don't want a family reunion. Hell wants you to go to heaven. Everybody in hell wants you to go to heaven. Those that were lost without Christ, that died that was your loved one, they don't want you in hell. They want you in heaven where you won't have to go through the hell they're going through for eternity. Don't go to hell, friend. Come to Jesus. Why don't you give it up and come to Jesus? Why don't you give up the desires of the flesh and, and the works of the devil and come to Jesus and get the power of the Holy Ghost and get a new desire for him? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Come to Jesus. Repent of your sins. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But now it covers our hearts and it covers what we could not hold up to. The blood, thank you, Holy Ghost, covers, hallelujah, that day his blood covered what we could not uphold, the law. Everybody says the law has been done away with. He said, do not be deceived. I've not come to do away with the law, but to fulfill it. What did he do away with? He did away with the law of sin and death. The moment you sin, you deserve to die. That is not it no more. God has given you the grace of God to repent. Through the blood of Jesus. Don't use his grace as a grease to slip through your sin. Ah, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to hear that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I bind every time the devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, save him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. It can't, Now, what I'm saying, the blood, it actually holds up the law. God's own law was a plea appeased through the blood of Jesus because without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sin. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But I'm telling you this right now. Jesus entered his own heaven through his own blood. Jesus, God in flesh, entered heaven through his own blood for you. 
That's how much he loved you, that he cleaned out a place for you. Because when sin happened in heaven, it caused the thing that needed to be cleansed. The temple in heaven needed to be cleansed, and Jesus cleansed it. And now he wants to cleanse you, that he can get you ready to walk in the temple as a priest unto God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. And we are presented as such a sacrifice before the Lord, a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. The blood covers us. To uphold the law now. It actually gives us the grace and the power to obey the Holy Ghost. Because with him, in us, if we'll allow him. You, I love Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. If you'll allow the Holy Ghost to work in you. Help me, Lord. Are y'all ready for this? You will be presented blameless without fault on the day of judgment. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hebrews 9, 12 through 28, that's what I was just preaching about. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why 1 Peter 2, 24 through 25 says that by his stripes, and like Isaiah, we are healed through his blood. We are sons of God and daughters of God. We are washed clean, bought by the blood of Jesus with a great price. You need to repent of your sins if you trample the blood. You need, thank you, Lord, you need Jesus. I feel led to just tell you that. You need Jesus. Had to give me a swallow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. That's why we need Jesus. Because his blood is perfect. And that blood is what is going to get you to heaven. That blood is what's going to get you out of the hell you're in now in your life. The blood of Jesus. It reaches from the highest mountain, and it flows from the lowest valley. So come today and be washed and cleansed in the blood of Jesus. Ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins, to fill you with his spirit, that you might make heaven your home. Excuse me. Tell him you believe he died for your sins, that God raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. That's all it is. Then go get baptized in the water and get to go to Bible-believing church, the true church, which is very hard to find these days. If you ain't got a church around your area, start watching my videos because I'm going to put them out every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm going to put a video out, and it's going to be for everybody who wants me to start pastoring in their area, and it's going to be a local ministry for you to come to every week where you'll actually hear doctrine of the Holy Ghost and not of doctors and devils and demons. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But come be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Be made white as snow. In Jesus' name, be cleansed in your mind, soul, and body. In the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. You can't do it without Him. Amen. If you want to write to me and let me know on Facebook if this message is... If God's done anything for you, please write to me and let me know you love the video. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'll see you there in the air. God bless. Thank you.